in this part we will look at a certain in this part we will look at a couple of degenerate cases uh, which are still concepts which are useful in circuit design okay and these are open and short circuits now when i say a short circuit i have to say that it's a short circuit between these two nodes n1 and n2 okay there are many ways to consider this so let's say i have a node n1 here and i have a node n2 here and i say that there is a short circuit between them and we know that a short circuit is nothing but an ideal wire connecting these two so there are many ways to deal with this so firstly uh, one thing we can do is not treat these as two separate nodes but treat them as a single node okay okay now that's always possible we don't even consider two separate nodes but many times maybe while in the course of analysis we would have considered uh, two separate nodes and there happens to be a short circuit between them all these are possible so we'll look at the nature of this short circuit it's quite trivial really but we'll still look at that okay so what does a short circuit between n1 and n2 mean it means that there is zero voltage difference between the two nodes okay now zero voltage between uh, these two nodes okay so if i go and draw the iv characteristic of this obviously the voltage is always zero and any current can flow through the short circuit or this wire so the characteristic looks like this that's a vertical line passing through the origin okay now from this it's obvious that this can be represented as a voltage source of value zero which is also equivalent to a resistance source a resistance of value zero okay so these obviously you know that if uh, r is zero then from v equals i r we will always be equal to zero okay so these are all equivalent concepts to having a short circuit between these two nodes that's why i brought up this thing in the first place okay now similarly we can also think of this as zero inductance between two nodes okay because we know that v is l times the time derivative of i this means that for any finite value of the time derivative the voltage will still be zero okay and finally i want uh, go and prove this but uh, you can reason it out for yourselves that this is also equivalent to having a capacitance which is infinity okay so if a capacitance is infinity then the two nodes across which the capacitance is connected will be constrained to have the same value that is the two nodes will be at the same voltage okay so a similar concept is an open circuit so open circuit really means that there is no connection between these two nodes an open circuit means no current flows between uh, these two nodes in other words current equals zero okay so what does this mean you can equivalently represent it with a zero current source okay 
because if current is zero and I draw the IV characteristic of it, I'll have a horizontal line passing through the origin that corresponds to I equals zero. So that is a zero valued current source, which is also equivalent to an infinite valued resistance or zero valued conductance. And again, I won't prove this, but you can very easily reason it out for yourselves that this is equivalent to a zero valued capacitance or an infinitely large inductance. Okay, So, that is an open circuit. So, sometimes it is useful to think of either an open circuit or a short circuit as these elements with these extreme values. Okay.